PDF document and convert it in a way so you can take out any element out of the document uh, as a vector shape as long as the shape was created originally as a vector. So as you can see here we're looking at a little map of the zoo. Uh, I want to go ahead and zoom in so you can see some, uh, see some elements here. So we're just going to click on this and go through. Um, as you can tell, they have their own fonts in here. They have, um, you know, these little icons for the different spots and everything. So, what we'd like to do is, you know, maybe we have a, um, a document that happens to need their logo on it. Okay, and when we pull it in uh, through Illustrator, we're going to go ahead and open it up. Open a recent file here, uh, Toledo. Here we go. And we're going to open this up and see what we can grab out of it. Okay, so first thing we notice is that we are missing a lot of fonts. And say, you know, you don't have these fonts or maybe you just don't have the time to go find them or can't afford them, whatever it might be. So you can easily take this file and convert it to outlines without hitting this barrier when you open up your document. So we're going to go ahead and just close it. I'm going to see what else there is. I mean, we could grab the logo pretty easily. So actually, if we go to Command Y, we can actually see our logo is right there. And we can just grab that out if we wanted to. But you know what? I want to grab some text too. But I want to use the same text that they had in the original document. So I'm going to close out. I'm not going to save. Don't save. And I'm going to go back to Acrobat. Here's where you got to follow the steps, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to, um, we're going to find the watermark tool. So we just type in water, watermark. So we're going to go to watermark, we're going to hit add. Let it do its thing. And now we're given this screen. Now, if you don't have this version of Acrobat, don't worry because this is very similar to previous versions. So if you have at least a updated version within the last couple of years, you should be seeing the same types of tools and elements. So we're going to go ahead and decide what our watermark is going to be. Now, it may not make sense in the beginning, but let me just go through the process here and show you what I would do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the smallest little tag that I can put in there, maybe like a dash, okay? You'll see a preview come up over here of my watermark, if you can see it right in there. So it's basically this little thing up there. So we want to go ahead, after we get that text in there, we're going to go ahead and change the size to the smallest size available, which is size 8. And as you can tell, it basically disappeared. Um, but it's still there, so just keep that in mind. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here to Opacity. And in the Opacity, we're just going to go ahead and take that and drop it to zero. Love that process, okay. And then once we've done this, which is all you have to do, just hit OK. It's going to add the watermark to the document now, okay. Now, the next thing you do is we'll go back to our tools and we're going to go to our flattener preview which I believe is in here yeah here it is here's our flattener preview if you can see that so we're going to click on flattener preview It's going through the document and flattening out any images or um, objects. And we're going to go ahead and then we want our, our, raster, uh, our raster vector balance to be at 100. That's fine. Uh, line art and text resolution. So this is something you should be very aware of. 1200 PPI is fantastic. We want to keep that the way it is. And our gradient mesh resolution 300 is perfectly fine. This is the section where we're going to have to go ahead and change some stuff. 
So we're going to convert all text to outlines. Your preview will basically disappear. Um, it's going to be processing quite a lot. So don't really worry about that too much. Uh, and then go ahead and convert all strokes to outlines, okay? Preserve robot prints fine. What you want to do also is to, down in this section, is to apply uh, to all pages in the document. Now, if you have a specific page that you're looking for and that's what you're working on, fine, Spec specify that page. I like to apply it to all of them. That way I have more information from other pages if I happen to need it. So after I've selected all of this, I'm going to go ahead and hit apply down here. Okay, leave these buttons alone, just hit apply. This uh, warning will come up saying this operation cannot be undone, would you like to proceed? And you just go ahead and click yes. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Let it go ahead and flatten and uh, vectorize all that text. And we're just about done. So once we're done, we're going to go ahead and hit OK here. You can see that right there. Hit OK. Now, this is, this is a pretty critical part. File, save as. Let's see here. We want this folder. And then we're going to go ahead and drop this in. And I just like to put some sort of identification marker to it. So this is going to be called outline. Doesn't really matter what you put. Just go ahead and hit save as an Adobe PDF file. Hit OK or save here. Done. Now we're going to go right back to Illustrator. We're going to go File, Open, and we're going to go to our document, which is the outline PDF. Hit Open, and here we are. And now, you, as you can tell, the document opened very quickly. There was no uh, warnings, and as you can tell, right over here. All of our fonts are now vector objects. So we can take exactly what we need, typeset or whatever we need, without messing around with the document too much, and click on it. And as you can tell in outline mode, all of these are vector shapes. And so you'll be able to go through the document and grab out whatever it is you need. This little section down here is going to be a little bit of a mess, but that's if you're going for it, then go for it. But otherwise, you have now a vector object for all of the symbols, all of the um, park uh, layouts, and all of their text. So what I wanted to do is show you this because so many times in in my day-to-day uh, -day going through documents that I get from clients, you're given a lot of uh, documents sometimes that just have nothing to do with what you're trying to achieve, or you got a document that is perfect, but you can't use it because either the resolution's not there, or you can't grab out exactly what you need. This process is here to help with that. And uh, hopefully through other means, you'll find other ways to make this very useful. So again, I wanted to say thank you. And I uh, also wanted to take a second to also let you know about how to vectorize anything. It is a uh, new course that I'm producing for anyone from beginning to um, advanced users of Illustrator on how to take any object, any image, uh, any process and change it to a vector art. Uh, there's several modules involved, but I like that I'm able to create all of them for you uh, to show you my tips and tricks that I've learned uh, throughout my years uh, professionally doing graphic design. And I wanted to go ahead and share this with you. So if you're interested, uh, click the link below, uh, sign up for any updates, and I'd be happy to go ahead and uh, you know, let you check out the class. And so, again, uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you. Have a great day.